Hi, I'm Sheila Mays here. I'm a Christian artist, a former caregiver. I've been mobile homeless for over five years. I haven't given up yet on the dream of having a home of my own. I'm grateful for the work Invisible People is doing to educate the public about us as individuals. I'm also grateful for the support group he created for us, its volunteers and supportive members. Mark rescued me from a very bad situation once, and I will never forget his care and quick action. Mark, I am very proud of you. 25 years of sobriety. Congratulations. Peace out. All right, we're talking about Mark. Mark, we love you. But we got to do, we got to talk about uh, invisible, people. invisible people. Well, I have to tell you that in pretty much my entire life, I don't think there's a single organization I have promoted more, felt more passionate about, or wanted to do more with than invisible people and I have made that my charity of choice. And I am extraordinarily happy to do that because I think Invisible People has really changed this world. And every click you get on YouTube and every view you get on YouTube, you're making a huge difference in the entire world and that's a huge deal. Well, wait, how did it change it for you? So how did uh, Invisible People change it for me? It was humanizing everything. You know, mm -hmm. I had, I felt like I had seen stories and I had stories, but I didn't realize that those stories were being told and being heard and being shared by so many different people. I didn't realize how big the problem was and how similar the stories were. You always think that somebody's homeless because of something that they did, and then you realize that there's a machine out there that's creating the situation. Um, so it was a really big eye-opening experience to, to get involved with this. You know, I'm still mad at Mark. Well, I mean, look at our hair. Yeah, I know. No, but I'm also mad at him because I ended up hugging a guy at a gas station, a homeless guy at a gas station, who was like totally telling me he needed like gas money, which he had no car. But then he asked me for a hug and I had just like seen like some video from Mark where the guy was like talking about how nobody had touched him or looked him in the eye. And I'm standing at the Shell station hugging this guy thinking, this is the right thing to do. It's a real person. It's a real person. Wow. And he's made me do things I don't want to do. The right thing, even when it doesn't feel right. <laughs> Mark, thank you for moving us out of your com our comfort zone. Yeah. You were, have constantly put us in face-to-face -face with things that I would never see on my own. Yeah. Or things that we saw, but we didn't see, right? It's like, that's the thing, I think, because we all saw it and then didn't see it. Can you imagine, Mark, I'm so proud of everything you've done and your journey and how you took your journey. You literally took your journey and you've made it into a world movement. Yeah. So, thank you for taking us with you. Greetings, Mark. First of all, congratulations on 25 years of sobriety. Wow, what a great accomplishment. And thank you also for everything you've done to make and sustain invisible people. For people experiencing homelessness, you've given them faces, voices, and made us all realize these folks are our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, our children, our neighbors, our friends. Wow. You have transformed the field of homelessness. You've transformed how we respond to people experiencing homelessness. And for that, I thank you. Congratulations on being 25 years sober, Mark. I wanted to let you know that your efforts with invisible people has not gone unnoticed, and despite us not crossing paths directly in recent years, unlike the earlier years when social media was really different, uh, you were certainly making a difference back then, and what you've done has made a difference. I will tell you, it impacts me in such a way that when I encounter someone who is on the street, I make eye contact, and I might nod, and uh, at least acknowledge that they are there rather than looking past them and ignoring them entirely. And that's probably something I would not have done had it not been for you raising the awareness that you've been doing through Invisible People. So thanks again and congratulations. Hey girl. Oh, hey, Advocacy Barbie, what's up? I wanna to talk to you about this guy. You remember him, right? Mark Horvath and Invisible People TV. Yes, ooh, he is like a rock star, right? Yes, well, let me tell you, girl, 
He is celebrating 25 years sober, 25 years um, not being on the streets and helping people. Mm. I know, I know. You know how we got connected, right? That's why you're sitting on a laptop because it was all about using technology to help people connect to each other, peer-to-peer -peer support, about using technology when you're experiencing homelessness to get connected to resources. Girl, we learned so much. And then we did so much, didn't we, as advocates? Uh-huh. Congratulations, Mark. Hey, Mark. This is Jamie here. I'm out here in the hill country riding my bike 15 miles in honor of, her, of invisible people. You do so much good work. I love you. I'm so glad you're sober. Congrats. You are a miracle. And I'm so glad that you were on the front lines working with unsheltered people, trying to get them places to live. Roofs over their head, food in their mouths. You know, much love, Mark. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations, Mark and Invisible People on this amazing milestone. Your life has been about refusing to let invisibility cause oppression with your journey, with your heart, with your voice, with your vocation. You have brought visibility. You've undertaken the sacred work of noticing and you've lifted up so many beautiful, courageous lives all across this country. Your life is an icon of love and your journey is about triumph. It's about one day at a time, using our hearts for empathy, using our eyes for noticing, using our voices for uplifting dignity, and using our ability to forge movement to change the world. Congratulations, Mark, so beautifully done. So yeah, you know that old adage that says, you should never let yesteryear define who you are today. Well, I feel like in the context of Mark Horvath, uh, that kind of urban myth is just gonna get shattered because Mark lives his life unapologetically and I honestly feel that is part of why he is so successful. Mark, it has been since 2009 when we first met on Twitter that I have admired your loyalty, your tenacity, and your steadfast commitment to helping others. Here's to the first 25 years and Here's to the next. Well, this is massive because Mark knows how much I hate being filmed. So this is a message from over the pond in the UK to my very, very favourite Yank ever on the celebration of his 25 years. Congratulations, mate. That's a biggie. Um, Mark and I go way, way, way back. I first stumbled upon him in about 2010 and Invisible People inspired me to set up a blog in order that our service users were able to express themselves and to have a voice. Really important. Over the years, Mark and I have, uh, have met up several times when he's come over to the UK. And um, it's, been, it's been good. It's been really good. Mark got us into Huffington Post UK, which was a massive at the time and really kind of helped snowball the profile of, of our charity and organisation into the limelight. So massive thank you to you, Mark. Congratulations on your 25 years and here's to the next 25, mate. Stay safe. This is Scott Monty. I used to be with Ford Motor Company and when I came out to Ford from Boston, I was woefully aware of the plight of homelessness. So when Mark Horvath got in touch with us and pitched the Invisible People idea, I thought it was fantastic and I was so excited to be able to have Ford help. Now we knew that Mark needed something that could help transport uh, his supply of Hanes socks as well as his supply of hope and his ability to listen from city to city. And we corralled the team, and we got a vehicle for Mark, and we set him off on his way for a couple of years, uh, I believe. It was probably the most rewarding partnership in my experience at Ford, because there were tangible results. There were people whose stories needed to be told, and Mark and Invisible People did an amazing job of doing just that. Happy anniversary, Invisible People, and best wishes to you and Mark moving forward. Lead with respect and listen. That's what I've learned from Mark Horvath and Invisible People. When you're going out to speak to people in dire need, people who are living without roofs over their heads, 
out on the streets. Start by bringing them things that will help them. Mark taught me about the comfort of clean white socks. Show them that you care about them first and then listen to them, hear their stories, show that you care what they have to say. You'll learn a lot. It's a question of respect. Hi, Mark. Congratulations on maintaining your sobriety for 25 years. I'm so happy that we have become good friends uh, through our association with N10. And I want you to know that I'm very proud of the work that you've done. And all of us at the Pierce Family Foundation where I work love that you have been telling the stories of people experiencing homelessness and showing that they're just real people just going through a difficult time and they just need a hand up. So congratulations, buddy, buddy, and sending you hugs. Hey, Mark, congratulations. I am so excited for you. You have done so much, my friend, to raise awareness about the plight of homeless people in our country. It is just insane. It was from you, actually, that I learned that the average age of a homeless person is nine years old and how there are so many families in our country that don't have secure housing and they're, they're living in motels and hotels just week to week. Um, you actually inspired our family to pack up duffel bags with hand warmers and foot warmers and socks and sweatshirts and um, deliver them along Lower Wacker when it was super cold back when we lived in Chicago in the winter time. And man, you know, I have I have you to thank because you actually put a face, faces actually, and stories to people who don't have homes. And for that, I am thankful. So uh, thank you for allowing us to have a small role to play in all that you do. And I wish you much success in the future. Congratulations, man. Mwah. Hi, Mark. It's Dr. Kelly. Congratulations on today. And thank you for all of your important work. Your work has been so critical in reminding us that the most important voices to listen to are those of people who are experiencing homelessness themselves. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me to teach the next generation of doctors how to provide better care to people who are experiencing homelessness. And thank you for everything you do. Hello, I'm Addie. This is the butt of my dog, Tilly. Uh, Invisible People has definitely helped change how a lot of people view homelessness, including myself, and I'm formerly homeless. Um, they also have some really cool merch that you should check out. Um, when I was homeless, I thought that, you know, I was very rare because I was working. <coughs> But I was living in my car. So then when I found out that, oh, this is actually pretty normal, you know, it definitely changed my views on everything. And I love the fact that Mark makes the people feel seen and feel very valued. Hi, Mark. Congratulations on this milestone anniversary. 25 years of sobriety and off the streets. I couldn't be prouder of you as a friend. And as a communications professional who's worked on the issue of homelessness, I have to thank you and Invisible People for everything that you've done to amplify the voices of people living on the streets. We need your help more than ever, and I hope that people watching this video will appreciate the work that you do and donate as well. Congratulations again, and may we not be talking about this issue in another 25 years. Brother Mark, Huge congratulations, two huge congratulations. First one, sobriety. What a milestone to reach that. Think about your life before. Think about how much of your life force you were able to then share and give and change the narrative globally around homelessness and humanizing the cause. Exceptional, incredible. Also being able to share the challenge of that journey, just telling people, you know, this is how hard it is for me. This is how it continues to be really hard. Leading with authenticity, you were there first, man. First in, best dressed. So proud of Invisible People's space and what it holds for people. From community Facebook groups that I love being a part of to the way that it changes the narrative, period, right? There is no us and them, there's just us. And you're a leader in that field, brother. I look up to you, admire you, and I'm so proud of you. Love you. Hey, this is Kasima. Um, I met Mark at the uh, National Conference for Ending Homelessness in Canada. Um, 
I've, I was on the Edmonton for a while admin team for a while um, in our Facebook group. Uh, I was currently taking a bit of a mental health break. Uh, was homeless for off and on for five years. And so it's been nice being able to talk to people who actually get it. Um, I am housed now um, and have been since uh, about a month after my daughter was born. And she's eight now. So uh, we had a few uh, months there where we were couch surfing after I had her, but mostly off the streets since then um but yeah uh i'm really proud of you mark i know it's not easy but you did it i can't tell you how excited i am to be celebrating 25 years sober and 25 years off the street for Mark Horvath, one of the most amazing individuals I've had the pleasure to know over the last 15, 17 years. Uh, we started Social Media Club in the hopes of bringing people together, of including more people in our society, of ensuring that more people improve their media literacy and were able to accomplish whatever it is that they wanted to do. I'm so very grateful that Mark found our chapter down in Los Angeles and got connected with so many other great people down there and was able to further his mission in life of getting more people off the streets and ensuring the people who are there have a little more hope, find some safety, and understand that they're not alone, and that other people have walked this path before them. So Mark, here's to you. Here's to all the work you do. I'm so grateful to have known you and played a small part in your journey. Our times together in Austin and New York and LA and everywhere else across the country we've spent some time together has been very meaningful to me. I look up to you a great deal and I'm very grateful that you're in the world and that you're sober and that you're doing this amazing work. Thank you. Mark, happy 25th birthday and congratulations on all your achievements with Invisible People. When LaViva came to me, what, 2008, 2009, and said we had this outreach candidate who was also working on a video project that might be of interest to me. Um, I thought, okay, let's see what he's doing. Um, and it turned out to be remarkable. You brought stories out that the vast majority of Americans have never heard before. And to understand homelessness and what it truly means, you have to listen to these stories. You have to hear how people have become homeless, how they remain homeless, how hard it is to get out of homelessness. My hope is that your work will continue to grow, that you will continue to have more of a policy impact. And I'm really excited to see what you're doing with your website now. So many, many, Best wishes for you. I love you. I love the work that you're doing. And I look forward to seeing the continued impact of invisible people. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am asking you today to help me celebrate an amazing 25 year achievement. It is 25 years very soon since my dear friend and force of nature, Mark Horvath, became sober, became clean and sober and stopped using drugs and stopped using alcohol. Um, 25 years is an, an amazing achievement, not only because of 25 years, because it's, as you will know, if you've been through this, it is one day at a time. So, so Mark is really celebrating more than 9,000 days of staying clean and sober. Uh, and to celebrate, I'm going to be supporting his amazing not-for-profit organisation, Invisible People, uh, and I'm inviting you to do the same. Uh, you, you probably know that Invisible People is all about changing the story of homelessness, changing the way we see people who are homeless. Um, it's amazing work. It's the most um, raw, authentic, visceral, frontline and empowering storytelling that I think I've ever seen. And I've also uh, I've witnessed for myself what incredible change it makes. So please do give uh, 25 pounds, 25 dollars, 25 euros. Um, any variation on that, anything you can give will really be a massive help to invisible people. Thanks ever so much for doing. Mark, congrats on 25 years sober. You are so inspiring in everything that you do. It's been incredible to watch you grow invisible people 
and to bring stories and voices of these individuals from the homeless community to life. It is so needed to create real change and you are doing it. So thank you for everything that you do and who you are. Mwah. I'm so honored to know you and grateful to know you. Hi, Mark. Congratulations on your anniversaries and on this wonderful celebration. Really well deserved. I'm so happy to be part of it. Just a quick story about the impact, one of the impacts of invisible people. So every spring I teach a class at Columbia Law School on law and policy of homelessness. And the students are required to do some kind of field exercise that brings them into contact with actual people. This spring, because of the pandemic, they couldn't go out into the field as usual. So I asked them to watch your videos on invisible people. And they did. Many of them um, reported back that they were blown away by these videos. They were so powerful. They learned so much. They saw the reality of homelessness in ways that they hadn't before imagined. And so thank you. Thank you so much. This is just one tiny example of the impact that you're having. I would describe Mark Horvath and Invisible People as diamonds in the homelessness sector. Diamonds are the hardest material, resilient. And I think of the way that Mark stops at nothing to answer the injustices uh, in homelessness and to fight for a platform for stories, real stories and voices to emerge. But diamonds are also beautiful and every single one of the films that Mark has produced has that beauty of humanity and the way that people are portrayed and allowed to portray themselves. Congratulations, Mark. Congratulations, Invisible People, on 25 incredible years. Your work has been a game changer for homelessness around the world. Thank you on behalf of us all. Hey, Mark. Uh, happy anniversary. Uh, congratulations for 25 years. Just want to let you know that uh, you've been so inspirational to me, to so many people. You've taught me so much, and I really admire the way you really just are with people and advocate for people, everything you do. And if it isn't apparent how much I admire you, just look at, you're such a fashion icon that I've copied your eyewear. So congrats and uh, good luck and thanks for everything you do. Hi, Mark. Congratulations on being 25 years sober and 25 years since you last were on the streets. This is huge. I always love hanging out with you. Your energy is so positive. You're so warm. You, you walk up to anyone and everyone, and you literally do. I've had a blast passing out socks with you in Venice Beach. I had a great time recording a podcast for my show, Rock Solid. And you were so sweet when my dog was just barking nonstop. And we just kept going, and you trusted me, and that was a great interview. And I just, I love you. You're so special. God put you here on earth for a reason, and that is to just bring light to so many people who, who need it. So thank you and congratulations and keep it up. I can't wait to see what you're going to do next. Hi everyone. It's John from in my father's kitchen. I want to give a shout out to Mark and I'm so honored to be able to share with him in this wonderful celebration of 25 years off the streets and sober. What a beautiful thing. And then Mark building out this invisible people platform that brings awareness to our community, to bring understanding to folks who might not understand what it is to be homeless and why our homeless friends are going through the things that they go through. Mark, I just want to say that I am proud of you as a friend and I'm honored to be able to call you a friend as well. And, uh, you know, because of the work that you're doing, it makes the work that we're doing around the nation and around the world a lot easier. 
because you're a forerunner. You're a storyteller. You go out there in advance. You tell the story of those who feel invisible and you bring them to life. And because of the work that you've done, I believe it makes the work that we do in our communities a lot easier. I've uh, referenced you many times and showed some of the videos of individuals around the country who are experiencing homelessness. And we call them in Central New York our friends. And I thank you, Mark, for your friendship. But I'm so proud of your sobriety and the work that you're doing. You're challenging the status quo. You're rocking the boat. You're making a difference. And we know that by the platform, how it's been growing exponentially. We're so excited and I'm honored again. Congratulations, Mark. 25 years, nothing to look down on, all looking up. God bless you, brother. Stay safe and thank you for the work that you're doing. Hi, Mark. Uh, this is Beth Cantor and I uh, want to wish you an amazing uh, anniversary. Um, and celebrating um, so many years of being sober, but more importantly, um, all the work that you have done through Invisible People through the years. I had uh, the pleasure of knowing you, gosh, for almost 10 years now, maybe more, and I've had a great time. I always will treasure that time that we spent um, in Austin during the South by Southwest Festival when we went around to all the parties to get people to vote for Invisible People, and then we also um, distributed pizza to, pe um, to homeless people on the, the streets. So I wish you another 25 years and many, many more of doing uh, the incredible, impactful work you're doing with Invisible People. Hey man, this is Robert Egger out in Cerritos, New Mexico, man, way out in the boondocks, but sending love and respect and mad props to my great friend Mark on his 25th anniversary of being clean and sober. Man, that's a huge task. Uh, but what makes it so powerful is he is leveraged all that sobriety and all that love and all that caring to help others through invisible people. Man, he's had a hard road, uh, but there's no one who shared so much love along that road. I'll tell you what's up with invisible people. Invisible people is an incredible work. It's been a huge inspiration to us here in St. Louis. I think invisible people's done more to raise awareness around the issues of homelessness and to amplify the voice of homeless people than any other organization has. I love the way you approach people with such respect and honor, recognizing their dignity. I think you empower people and inspire hope in them when you give them a chance to tell their stories and talk about the struggles they're facing. And I think Invisible People is documenting our time in America like nothing else is. You know, we're an incredibly wealthy nation. You got, we got so many people living without a roof over their head or a bed to lay down in. I pray for a time when Invisible People is no longer needed. But until then, keep shaking people awake. Thanks for the work you're doing. Hey Mark, it's Stephanie from LA Family Housing. Happy birthday, congratulations on 25 years. I'm really proud of you and so appreciative that you've taken your lived experience to lift up the voices of so many people experiencing homelessness. Thank you for bringing their heart, their honesty, and what's happening every day on our streets across the country. Thank you for lifting that up and sharing it with so many. LA Family Housing is proud to partner with you. And again, congratulations on this milestone birthday. Hi, I'm Stephanie and I want to take a moment to wish Mark a very happy sobriety birthday. And thank you, Mark, for bringing invisible people into my life and into the lives of so many people where through the pathways of sharing about our experiences, what we've witnessed, what we've been part of, we are able to connect with one another in a deep and meaningful way so that we have understanding and we can be more compassionate and lift one another up when people really need it so that we can see that we're much more alike than we are unalike. You've given us that space. And to everyone who participates with Invisible People, thank you because you open my eyes and you open the eyes of so many by being so kind, loving, and generous with your life story. Thank you. Thank you all so much. And happy, happy, happy birthday, Mark. Hello, my name is Dorit. Mark and I first met in 2008, 2009. That's when he was starting Invisible People. We both worked at a winter shelter in Glendale, California. I'd worked in homeless services for many years before that. And I couldn't fathom what this invisible people thing was 
recording people's stories and putting it on this Twitter thing, because frankly, I didn't understand Twitter and I still don't. But it's been amazing. It's been amazing to see his journey, to see what he's been able to do, how he's been able to let other people know who don't work in homeless services what experiencing homelessness is. It's helped people understand that a homeless person is not this boogeyman, is not this uh, drug addict, mentally ill person who's not deserving of care and support. That a person experiencing homelessness is just like anyone else. Thank you, Mark. You've been a pain in my ass, but I love you. Hey, everybody. Derek Sue from Oakland, California. Well, it's been three years, Mark, that uh, you and I first spoke. Uh, I was doing a little show called The Journey Home here in Oakland, California. And somehow I caught your attention and we became friends. Uh, we spoke uh, and it's been quite a ride. And I want to congratulate you on 25 years of sobriety. That is quite a milestone. Uh, I know that uh, you're going to be heading back to L.A. pretty soon. Um, scary thoughts. Oh, yeah. We don't know what's going to happen with the housing situation here in Crazy Cali. So anyway, once again, congratulations on 25 years of sobriety and looking forward to seeing you over the next 25 years of sobriety. Take care, my friend. Hey, Mark. Scott here. Allison, hey Mark. I want to say um, our heartfelt congrats and love for um, a 25 year anniversary. Uh, you have been an inspiration to us uh, ever since we both met you. Uh, and one of the biggest things that, that you have shown us is your resilience and, and perseverance that you, you don't let up, that you don't take a break. That we, we always talked about that when people have meaning and morals, it's, it's what drives them. It's what's in their core and, and you helping others uh, is, is, is incredible to us. And, and we wanted to say, hey, and um, um, that we love you and that we, we, we care about you and your mission and, and the countless people you've helped and will continue to help. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hi, Mark. Just wanted to wish you a happy 25th year anniversary on your sobriety and to thank you for Invisible People TV for telling our story. If it hadn't been for you showing us how to do that, nobody would have known what it was like to be uh, a homeless mom living out of a car. Happy 25 years. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Uh, Barb Poppy calling in from Ohio to say congratulations on your 25th anniversary. But most of all, I really want to thank you for the amazing work that you and Invisible People have been doing. You've taught me a lot about the importance of listening to and honoring the experience of people who are currently experiencing homelessness, not focusing only on those who've been successful to programs and have moved on. I wanna thank you for your great advocacy and your efforts and your patience and flexibility uh, with helping school me through the years. Thanks, Mark, and congratulations. Happy anniversary, Mark. Um, Thank you so much for all the hard work and beautiful work you do with invisible people. Um, you're just one of a kind type of human being and we need more people like you. So keep on doing the good work, um, keep on saving lives really and helping others the way you do. We should all take example and do a little bit more of what you do. So happy anniversary again. Hi, I'm Becky McRae. Because I'm from a small town, I didn't really realize that homelessness is a problem not just of the big cities, but actually everywhere. And the way I learned more about homeless people and people who are living with friends, living with family, living in their car, is because Mark Horvath showed me. People are people, no matter where they're staying right now. Mark, thanks for making such a big difference, and congratulations. Hey, Mark, it's Chris Noble. I, you know, I know that we're celebrating a big anniversary, big milestone for you today, and 25 years sober is amazing. Um, congratulations. But I'd rather celebrate you, if that's okay. 
Um, for folks who don't know him, Mark has – he's three things. He's got a huge heart. He's got big, big energy that's bigger than his own body. And, uh, and he doesn't quit. Like he doesn't quit ever. Like everybody has down moments. Everybody has bad days. And, and Mark has them. We all have them. And he always keeps coming back. Uh, I love you, brother. Thank you so much um, for being you. Thanks – you know, thanks too for teaching us all how to get through those down moments. Uh, I'm a better person because of knowing you. Thanks and God bless. When you think of invisible people, what do you think of? It is unrelenting compassion, fierce advocacy, and total commitment to making visible the stories of people experiencing homelessness. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, invisible people, for making what is invisible so profoundly visible. Hey, Mark, happy 25th anniversary of your sobriety. I'm so proud of you, friend. Uh, this is a special day uh, because every year at this time, I get to celebrate the good work that you continue to do, not only in your personal life through invisible people. It also happens to be my birthday, so y- you've given me a reason every year to celebrate something outside of myself as well. Uh, you know, I still remember over 12 years ago when I first met you, you were playing drums in an organization we were both part of. And uh, I still remember the moment you told me about Invisible People. I thought from the onset it would be a powerful idea, and I knew I had to share with our network. I'm so proud to call you my friend and on the important work that you've done, not only in growing the organization and impacting literally millions of lives, uh, but at the end of the day, bringing awareness to an issue that's really changed how I view it, as well as how many people you've literally helped along the way. So keep up the great work, friend. I can't wait to see the what the next several decades hold for you, and I'll always be there for you. Love you, bro. Hey, Mark. It's Chris Brogan and Carrie Gorgone because we both do the Backpack Show together. We were here and ready to talk about your 25th anniversary sober. Wow. What an amazing achievement. Congratulations. You've done so much great work since then, and I think we're all just so glad to have you as part of our circle. It's a lot of meetings. It's a lot of making every single day matter. And it is, a, I know a lot of what you've gone through, even just in the last few years, it's huge. So it's big stuff, Mark. And with the loss of your mother and everything, you know, a lot of people struggle emotionally and they lose track of themselves and you, you've held on to it. So we're just, we're really proud of you. Big ups to you, Mark. Thank you for asking us to be part of your celebration. It means so much. You're the best. Thank you so much. See you soon. Hey, Mark, it's Carol Roth, and I just wanted to congratulate you on your tremendous milestone, 25 years sober. That's a quarter century and 25 years from your last day living on the street homeless. And of course, all the incredible work that you have been doing with Invisible People and Invisible People TV. I remember, gosh, it's got to be like a decade ago now when we were with you and brought you outside and you were gifted did with a lease for a car so that you could travel around the country and tell the stories of people who are homeless and humanize those stories. And not only have you done that, but I remember the look on your face that day and how overwhelmed you were and how overwhelmed all of us were because we knew the great work you were going to do. And boy, have you done it. So congratulations to you. And here's to another 25 years of doing tremendous work advocating for the homeless. What can I say about Mark Horvath? We've handed out socks and supplies to the homeless here in the United States. We've eaten pho together in Toronto. My organization, Haynes, has worked with him to develop programs to educate and make a difference. And it's because we believe in the work that he's doing. We believe in invisible people and we believe in Mark. I've had him over to my house for dinner and introduced him to my kids as a true hero. And it's true. There aren't many people I think of in that way, but Mark is really one of them. I'm proud of him. I'm proud to know him. I'm proud to work with him. He really is a hero of mine. I'm thrilled thrilled to celebrate 25 years of sobriety and the 25th anniversary of his last day street homeless. Keep doing what you're doing, Mark. You're an inspiration. 
Hi, my name is Kevin Hendricks. I'm here in Minnesota and just wanted to say congratulations, Mark. Uh, 25 years sober, 25 years being off the street. That is just incredible. Uh, I am so grateful to know you, Mark. You are such a tenacious, selfless person. Uh, you've always got Hayden socks ready to hand out to people in need. Uh, you're always ready to jump in and explain this issue. Uh, and you've been out there yourself, so you understand it and really... Uh, have helped open our eyes to, to understand this issue. So thank you for all the work you do, Mark. Uh, congratulations, and we love you. 25 years, 25 years. <laughs> hey, Mark. Hey, congratulations on 25 years. 25 years. That is quite impressive. Uh, you were the first, one of the first people I met in the LA tech scene, and you were absolutely an inspiration to see. You use social media the way that no one else at that time was using social media to share stories of people that you didn't even know to make a difference. So I want to say kudos to you, and I hope the next 25 years um, is just as inspiring. Hey, Mark, Eric Deutsch here, your favorite public relations guy. I just want to take a moment to say that it's been great to get to know you and to learn about the work you do with invisible people and also to help you, albeit on a small level, to get the word out. Um, you know, homelessness is a huge problem, but you are definitely part of the solution. You're a smart, dedicated, generous guy. I knew I liked you the moment I saw that photograph of you with that big lizard on your shoulder. I said, hey, that guy, he's okay. Uh, so Mark, congratulations on everything you've done over the past 25 years, and here's to 25 more. Hi, I'm Dan McDonald with the Homeless Police in Tampa, Florida. Mark, I just wanted to offer my congratulations on 25 years of recovery and ending your own stint with homelessness. That's quite an achievement. Recovery is a journey, not a destination, and it's a marathon, not a sprint. You're an inspiration to us all. And thanks for giving a voice to those who need it the most at a time when they need it more than ever. Congratulations once again, and keep up the great work. White Hanes Athletic Socks, Double Double Burgers from In-N-Out Burger, and a hell of a lot of heart. Those are the three things I think about most when I think about Mark Horvath and when I think about invisible people. Hi, I'm Mike Bonin. I'm a council member in the city of Los Angeles, and I'm here tonight to say thank you to Invisible People, to celebrate Invisible People, and to say much love and congratulations and to celebrate Mark Horvath on his 25 years of sobriety. Mark is an amazing guy, and Invisible People is an amazing force. I have been with Mark as he has passed out his trademark white socks, and I have sat with him on the concrete at Venice Beach eating double-double burgers with people who are living on the street. But most importantly, I have been able to appreciate and share the stories he tells on Invisible People, the real stories of real people and their real lives, the lives of people who are living on our streets, sleeping rough and unhoused. It is the power of those stories which are going to change minds and change policy and actually do what absolutely needs to be done, which is finally, finally get people off the streets and give them the love and the dignity they, they deserve. Thanks very much and congratulations again, Mark. Thank you. Mark, it's Peter Lin. I am very happy to offer my congratulations on the 25th anniversary of your Becoming Sober. No easy walk, I know from my own personal experience, and very, very grateful that you stayed with it, stayed with us, and have contributed your enormous energy and talent to this field, and particularly to lifting up the experiences of people experiencing homelessness, and giving them back the power of their own narrative. We like to blame people in this country, we like to create moral fables about why people are homeless, you've done an enormous work to change that narrative, and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for your work. Thanks for your effort. Here's to the next 25. Thanks, Mark. Hey, Mark. Richard Cho here. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate you on your 25th sober and housing anniversary. 25 years is an amazing feat, and you give so many people hope and inspiration. Um, I'm really glad I get to celebrate this milestone with you. I think back to the, about six or seven years ago when we first met and I was working for the federal government and I thought that the way you win over policymakers was through data and numbers. How much do we already spend on homelessness and how much cheaper would it be if we actually housed them? But then I saw what you did through invisible people. 
I saw how you helped people tell their stories, how people share their unique stories and their challenges. Invisible People shows how diverse um, people experiencing homelessness really are, and it doesn't sugarcoat it either. And I saw how you won over hearts and minds. I saw how you helped the general public to recognize the humanity in every homeless person. And I realized that I need to rethink my whole approach to advocacy. Last night, I heard Michelle Obama's speech at the Democratic National Convention, and she talked about how America is at a low point in our empathy, and how one of the most important things that leaders can do uh, is to have empathy and to walk in another person's shoes. And while she was talking about Joe Biden, I want everyone to know that you, Mark, are one of those leaders. You and the work of Invisible People encourage all of us to have empathy. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you for giving others a voice. And thank you for teaching me about empathy as a tool for revolution. Hello, my name is Theo Henderson. I am the host and creator of a podcast called We The Unhoused. I'm making this video in celebration of Mark Horvath's 25 years of sobriety. It is a testament that after out of his sobriety, he has chosen to lend a hand to people in various stages of houselessness. Now, I understand that Mark doesn't use those terms. He uses homeless um, because he's trying to return or retain the power of that. But um, I, I use house, uh, houselessness and unhoused because I want to create my own agency. Um, but I digress. Mark's generosity has helped me in expanding and improving upon uh, my podcast. I have used a phone, and I still use phones on several occasions, to create a podcast that highlights the voices of the unhoused community that is largely overlooked by mainstream media and basically society. To that end, I continually use it to showcase uh, different stories and explanations that you don't usually hear. My platforms have been on now YouTube, SoundCloud, Pandora, and Apple Podcasts. And it wouldn't have been completely possible if there wasn't somebody that reached out to help me uh, give me a lending hand. And that person is Mark Horvath. Mark has given me uh, a camera, uh, 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 I was going to say a camera and the uh, accessories that goes with it. <laughs> I don't want to enumerate all of them. He's also interviewed me for one of his uh, specials, Invisible People, which people have remarked that they love the, the video, the, the, the technical ability of Alex, his uh, superior editor, uh, video editor, and I guess camera editor as well. And I just wish the very best for Mark and hope another 25 years of sobriety lends an extensive amount of people that you touch and reach out to. I always end my podcast with this, and I hope I, I hope we all again meet in the light of understanding. And I will re say something that uh, my mother used to tell me: "Let's make the world a better place than we found it." Happy birthday, Mark! And I wanted to say congratulations on 25 years sober. What an amazing milestone and accomplishment! You are an amazing human being, and I want to say. Thank you for giving homeless people a voice with Invisible People TV over the past few years. I know you've dedicated and poured your heart into this project and I love to see it take off and I love to see you take off and shine and share and showcase the wonderful humans that um, you help every single day. Congratulations, happy birthday, thanks so much. I am so thrilled and honored to be your friend. Hi, I'm Goldie Chan, and I think one of the things that Invisible People does super well is it tells human stories. So instead of looking at homelessness from an outsider's point of view, I think there is such humanity that is put into the content. And I know that for me, it's so helpful to know what is really going on in the streets, what is really going on in the life of homeless folks, either around me directly or in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mark. This is Cram. Hi, Mark. This is take number 75. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is take right. number 75. This is take number 75 because Grant had to start over because his hair didn't look right That's or right, something. my hair didn't look, I didn't get my hat on right. Yeah, so, uh, okay. But this is Graham Press and Aaron Rance. Uh, we're uh, we're just doing some outreach here in, uh, in Seattle with Vehicle Residents, and we wanted to, uh, to send you a message to say congratulations on your anniversary, uh, and uh, and just thank you so much for your great work. You're, uh, you're a credit to our community. Thanks so much, buddy. 
All right, take it easy. Hello, Howard Sinclair from London here. Uh, delighted to uh, join in the celebration and acknowledgement of visible people. In other words, you, Mark, uh, which is a truly international movement that has helped thousands and thousands and thousands of people directly and uh, the same indirectly, those of us who, who work in services and care about homeless people in a way that's completely unprecedented. And Mark, in saying uh, it's a celebration of 25 years of invisible people, it's a celebration of you and 25 years off the streets and all your energy and commitment and intelligence and humour and drive and compassion, uh, which is unparalleled and it's a privilege to be involved to have been involved with invisible people and with yourself. And if only you could learn how to eat duck's tongues properly, you'd be the complete package. Many congratulations and uh, enjoy the time. Here's to the next 25. Take care. Hello everyone. Ryan Hannon here from Goodwill Street Outreach in Northern Michigan. Congratulations, Mark, in 25 years. I'm so glad for invisible people. The way you reach out and tell people's story in a dignified way is unmatched. The power and the impact that you have telling the world the realities of homelessness doesn't happen anywhere else. So often the, the pretty things and the pretty pictures that even the sector wants to share is what's out there. Thank you for all you do for the people experiencing homelessness. Hi, Randa Laurel here coming at you from Joshua Tree, California. And first and foremost, Mark, congratulations. Uh, 25 years, that's incredible. Uh, as someone in long-term recovery herself, I understand the struggles uh, it can take. And so con congratulations, truly. And your work with invisible people, um, you know, I've ha also had homelessness around my family and the work that you do and have done in the last 25 years has just been, really inspiring and wonderful and you've changed the view of homelessness or people experiencing homelessness so drastically with all your work and I commend you and um, we're, we're really lucky to have you um, doing this work and thank you and congratulations and much love to you. Hey Mark, congratulations on 25 years of sobriety and all the years that you've been helping invisible people everywhere. I love your heart, but what I really think is hilarious is that we've now been in the same city three times in the last several months and we have not run into each other. How is that even possible? I don't get it. Next time you are in Venice or San Francisco, let me know because I'm probably just down the street. Congratulations again on the 25 years and I just absolutely love your heart and I love you, man. See you later. Mark. I want to congratulate you on 25 years sober and out of homelessness. But most importantly, I want to thank you. You've done so much for people, people who don't deserve to be invisible, but they often are because society's view of itself doesn't conform to their story. It's easier to avoid looking at hard truths. It's easier to have strong opinions when you don't take time to understand nuance. It's easier to pass judgment without looking in the mirror. You combat that unfortunate part of human nature every day. You create empathy for individuals that too often people look away from. Everyone knows you're a storyteller, but what they don't get to see is what you do between your videos. I got to witness you engage with multiple homeless individuals and your ability to connect with them, show them hope and care. It stuck with me. You are the embodiment of the compassion of human spirit. You inspire us about what our true nature can be. And for that, I thank you. Congratulations on 25 years. Hey Mark, I just wanted to say congratulations. 25 years sober, 25 years of imagining and creating invisible people, that's incredible. Uh, you know, you said a funny story was a bonus. Well, aside from the fact that my dog just dropped her bone, I don't really have a funny story, but I will tell you, I think you're amazing. You know, we worked together years ago to make a video about a student, and not only did you make a beautiful video with her, but you helped her in untold ways. And the extent to which you stepped up for someone you didn't know, and the way you do that all the time, whether it's with socks or taking somebody out to dinner, those pictures on Facebook of you, you know, with folks having an amazing meal have always made me so happy. Your commitment's incredible. You do not stop, you're fierce, 
And you're exactly what we need in times like this. So congratulations, 25 years. Wow, seriously impressive. Go you. My name is Scott Mills. I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. In 2012, through a man named Jeff Pulver, had the opportunity to meet a man named Mark Horvath from Invisible People. As a result of meeting Mark Horvath, my perspective on homelessness changed greatly, and I have been able to help uh, and contribute uh, to the solution as a result. And uh, I've also learned a tremendous amount of uh, how to reach people on social media from Mark Horvath, and I want to congratulate him on 25 years of being sober and uh, Wish them all the best with invisible people moving forward. Thank you, Mark. Hi, Mark. It's Jeff Holver. A shout out and much love to you. Thank you for everything you've done and continue to do, providing a platform for the homeless to be seen. Invisible people are not so invisible anymore, thanks to you. I'm grateful for the opportunities we've had to collaborate. I thank you for taking a chance and coming to the 140 conference. It was great seeing you in Toronto on that mur- working on the mural. Thank you for coming to the events and sharing the story and truly sharing your story and taking the energy and the love and the light and redirecting it and helping so many people, saving lives, changing lives, connecting lives, connecting families. You are an amazing soul. The world is much better with you. The world is so much better with the work you do, the work that you inspire and the way that you connect and bring everybody together. Much love to you, sir. I am in awe. I look forward to the next time we can get together to share a hug and to collaborate. Much love to you from New York. I miss you. Invisible people means that I am somebody. I am important. Back in 2009, when I first met Mark, he did a video of me for Invisible People. And from that point on, things changed for me. I was filmed as part of the Twitterimentary documentary. In 2009, I also went to the uh, 140 Twitter conference in Los Angeles, and I was completely overwhelmed and amazed at, this is really happening to me. And from that point on, things have changed for me. Thank you, Mark. Hi, Mark. Happy 25 and happy 25. It's been an honor knowing you over the last 10 years. Can you believe it's been that long? Oh, my God. Um, But I am so proud of you. You are one of the most incredible humans on this planet and that I know. And I'm just super proud of everything that you're doing for our world and to make it a better place. You are super human and I love you. Thank you, sweet friend, for being here and doing everything that you do. Hi, Mark. On behalf of Homer Trust and your friends in Edmonton, I want to congratulate you on 25 years of sobriety and really thank you for everything you've done to create awareness of the issue of homelessness and most importantly, a voice to those individuals that really um, are recognized as human beings in an experience that really is a crisis and I want to thank you so much for doing that in a way that's just humane, loving, and hopeful, most importantly. Mark Horvath, happy anniversary. You see, it took your anniversary to get me to do a video. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, I wanted to say congratulations and thank you. Thank you for Invisible People. Thank you, thank you for all the work that you've been doing. You are here uh, for the founding of the Canadian Lions to End Homelessness, and you've been a huge help. And Invisible People has been really, really important to our success, and most importantly, for keeping us grounded and focused on uh, making sure that people who uh, have experienced homelessness or are experiencing homelessness uh, are the center of the work. Thank you for, for teaching us about the importance uh, of homeless people being uh, in the driver's seat uh, of their own lives and keeping this issue front and center for millions and millions of people. Uh, And thank you for continuing uh, to pester me about marketing and reminding me how crap I am at videos, kind of like this. Uh, But in all seriousness, Mark, 
Thank you very much. Uh, you are making a huge contribution to ending homelessness in Canada, and Invisible People will always be an important part of our work. Happy anniversary. Stay well. Hi, Mark. This is Joel Roberts. I'm the CEO of PATH and PATH Ventures, and I'm here at the PATH Metro Villas in Los Angeles, California. I just want to congratulate you for your 25 years of being sober. It's a, an amazing and a historic accomplishment. In our work to end homelessness throughout California, it's all about stories. We're telling stories of people who are tragically living on our streets. And your story is part of this mission to end homelessness. You may be sober, but your work is not sober. You've been changing the paradigm and rocking the boat and creating innovative ideas and approaches. Thank you for being a friend and a colleague and a mentor. Thank you for, for inspiring me and challenging me. Your storytelling is ending homelessness. What, Mark, 25 years, congratulations, man. I wish your mom were here to cheer you on and to give you that phone call that she always has before. And I hope that these videos that we're making create a, a new fun tradition that's really rewarding for you. I wanna say thanks for making Invisible People for me as I'm standing here in my cozy house that I comfortably pay for every month. Uh, I, I think what you bring to me via Invisible People is a window that really illuminates how much more resilience we require of people who aren't fortunate enough to have a comfy, cozy home than we do of people like me who are. And so, and just how slight the differences are between us, right? So I just really thank you for, for building that empathy, for telling those stories, for pushing the fight to get people housed um, so relentlessly for so many years. And, and I hope to join that fight for you, with you for many more years to come. Hey, Mark, congrats on 25 years, my friend. That's awesome. Uh, you're officially an old timer in our industry. Uh, I remember back in 2009 when you and I first met in uh, the Twitter sphere and you helped me to kind of understand the difference between engaging with uh, people and having a meaningful conversation and just shouting out into the echo chamber. Uh, I think you and Invisible People are doing some of the best work in raising awareness and educating the general public, the people whose minds and hearts we actually need to reach in order to change this conversation on homelessness. So I am grateful for your work, your passion and your commitment. Proud to be a supporter of Invisible People. Uh, congrats again on 25 years. Be safe and be well. Congrats, Mark, from myself and everyone at the National Homelessness Law Center on 25 years of sobriety and 25 years off the streets. Both are accomplishments in themselves, but you didn't stop there. You went on to create the social media juggernaut of invisible people, changing hearts and minds about people experiencing homelessness so that we can change the policies that make and keep them homeless. And you went on to tell me and lots of other people who know too much about the details of homelessness policy that we're doing it all wrong when we try to start our conversations with the public leading with those details. So I'm looking forward to the next 25 years of working together and learning more about what I'm doing wrong. Sending you big e-hugs on this important occasion. Congratulations, 25 years sober, 25 years. All the efforts that you've put forth in Invisible People is unbelievable. It is one of the most important, important initiatives out there. The way you dignify, the way you story, the way you make sure that we see the humanity in every single life that your life comes across is absolutely Beautiful. It has marked me, it has taught me, it has formed me, it has shaped me. You, my friend, are a gift to the world. And I'm so grateful for our relationship. I'm so grateful for how Laundry Love Nationwide has been impacted by the way that you continue keeping on and making sure that we see as we should the divine image in every human life. Love you, brother, and congratulations once again. Invisible people has been a really transformative force, making us open our eyes and really understand what the experience of homelessness is like and to understand what has happened in people's lives and how injustice is still affecting that. Long may that go on and long may eyes be opened. Thank you, Mark. Hey, Mark, Adam Conover here. Uh, I want to congratulate you on your sobriety anniversary. And I want to say it's been such a pleasure getting to know you over the last year, uh, especially after having been a fan of your work for so long. Your work does so much to humanize 
unhoused folks, to let people know what's really going on out there, the challenges that they're really facing. And I think for so many people, it changes the way that they see the issue and changes the way that they look at the folks in their own community, right? It makes them see them with a little bit more empathy and, and more understanding as, as neighbors and as fellow humans. And I, I think that's so important. Uh, seeing your work was part of that revolution for me and my own thinking, and I know it has been for so many other people too. So congratulations again, and uh, bless you for doing the work that you do. Hi, this is Meredith from Caridad in Las Vegas, and I was actually homeless for a year in San Diego. And Mark, I want to say thank you for being such a great friend, a supporter, a voice of wisdom when I needed it, and more importantly, for starting the support group. I'm going to get emotional. It's meant um, more than you know. Um, I think people don't understand there are serious traumas that we go through um, when we experience homelessness, and that never leaves you. And so to have a group of people that understand it and have been where you've been, it's just, it's great. And I love what you do for the community. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And congratulations, 25 years. That's an amazing milestone. This is your next goal. I want you to, to get up here with me. <laughs> so congratulations, Mark. Thank you for what you do. Congratulations, Mark, on 25 years being sober. That's amazing and very inspirational to everybody. And thank you to Invisible People for always being really involved in, pe in homeless people's lives. And thank you to WAV for being my support system. I have met so many wonderful friends, and I consider you all my family. Thank you.